Happy New Year's everyone! To celebrate, Hyperpad has released a brand new update with so many new features and a heap load of bug fixes. I know it is a little late, the update has released a while ago and that last video that I posted was actually minutes before the update was published which is kind of funny. <laughs> Insane. But at least I get to play with it. And so I did. Let me show you what you can do in Hyperpad now. Somebody come get her, she dancing like a Now the spotlight of the show is the render texture and draw features. This enables images and canvases to be manipulated which brings up many new capabilities, you won't believe it. Users can build projects that can utilize images or even be able to create new dynamic content. Custom shaders could even be possible, if you know what that is. Things like Photoshop, lighting, mini maps, drawing, and many more are now possible within Hyperpad. In my opinion, the render texture and draw features may be some of the most game-breaking features there are. Literally, look at this, what the heck? <laughs> you can now load images... dynamically. <laughs> Um, let me explain. This would allow players to import images into your project, which could be manipulated in many ways. This feature would be perfect for social or multiplayer games as users can have custom avatars, icons, etc. This also makes handling assets in the project much easier. Assets can now be referenced by paths. See? I love it so much. Dynamic content in Hyperpad is made possible with this feature. You could even set up a custom media feed in your projects, just like this. Oh, look at my assets, I have nothing. But ooh, how does this appear? Load image. <laughs> um, I guess that's a way to prove it. <laughs> what? So funny. Whatever. Moving on. Create collisions behavior. Dynamic collisions can be created in objects which brings up many new possibilities. For example, you can have the player's hitbox shrink in height when sneaking. You can have your character interact with the scene's environment in many ways. This can be used in many other applications too. Custom terrain, morphing objects, you name it. Those are just some of my favorite features that have arrived in the update, and there is many more things to uncover. So I recommend getting the new update from the App Store. It's awesome. I would hug the devs right now, oh my god. Here's a virtual high five to you guys. Also, I have some great news. Maybe some of you guys already know this, I just wanted to notify all my subscribers. Now, what does this mean between you and me? I get to be featured by Hyperpad and create exclusive videos for the community. I've been already featured in a video once and you can go check it out right now, link is in the description. Most of my new tutorials, tips, and tricks will be featured on the official Hyperpad channel. Though, I'll still upload some other content onto my channel, like maybe I'll do live streams and development vlogs, you know? I know I don't upload much, and that's because a lot of things are happening right now. Oh, and speaking of development logs, I'm remaking Among Us in Hyperpad. Yeah, I'm insane. And you guys will be able to play with me and possibly with Hyperpad staff. No promises though, they're busy people. Some of the staff are in our official Hyperpad Discord server, so if you have any questions, concern, or any feedback, you can chat with them. Again, please respect your time and effort they put into the community. I will be hosting monthly events and people will be able to receive real prizes. This month, we are giving away $15 worth of iTunes credit and 3 codes to purchase Hyperpad for free. So if you would like to join, link is in the description. If you would like to see some more tutorials and some exclusive content, subscribe to the official Hyperpad YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. See you in the next video, whenever that is. And Happy New Year's! I know it's late, but who- whatever, yeah. Somebody come eat her!